Welcome back to Wallet DTV, man. We got my homeboy HR Vito in the building. Real risky, you feel me? What's good, bro? What's going on with you? How you, hey, bro? I'm good, man. But look, I want to jump right in it, bro. And I want to say this, bro. I don't need you. You one of the hardest working men on this music shit, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Sure that. But I look up to you because I see that you're a great father, bro. You get what I'm saying? Every time I get online, bro, I see you got them spoiling your daughters. And for I sure. feel like that's bigger than any rap track. I don't care what it is you're going to do. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so first of all, I want to start off by saying that. I now appreciate you, money. But yeah, appreciate man. You. Let's start off by uh, talking about where you're from, bro. Tell me where you're from. New Bern, North Carolina, 252. 252. And East Coast, East Carolina, Eastern Carolina. I mean. Eastern Carolina. How was how was it growing up? West Bubblefuck. Goddamn risky, you feel me? You got to move how you move. Ooh, Ooh, light, you feel me? Yeah, man. Hey, gotta make it, make it work. <laughs> All right. So tell me, tell me about your life, though, man. Like, like, what molded you into the hardest working man you are right now? Goddamn, goddamn. Growing up, you feel me? Life, going through shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like them. Yeah. Figuring out that shit, you on your own, it can happen to you. It, yeah. Everything ain't always everything, you feel me? Everything ain't what it seems. It's either do or die, you feel me? Yeah. So, so you gotta uh, make this shit happen, goddamn. So, how long you been rapping for? Oh, shit. Nah, that shit crazy, because I actually thought about this the other day. It's it actually been like three, four years now. Three, four about years? Three, four years now. How many videos are you thinking of this? Me? Yeah. Mm. I dropped. I dropped just then. Um, you just dropped one about six hours ago. I dropped like oh, ago, 20 wow. videos just last year. And then I had like, I probably dropped like 60, 70 videos. 60, 70. Because I, I dropped, I know it's like, it's like 50, 50, 60 on YouTube right now. Then I deleted like 20 something because they all had like guns and shit. Yeah, in some them. shit though, yeah. So yeah, 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 they all had like guns and drugs. Bro, I and did shit, a lot man. of videos, motherfuckers. I can't even post right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. So like I had, we took all that off, like, cause we don't need that in there. And then, like, you know, you start getting hot. That shit, that shit start bringing all kind of attention. So. So, boom, <laughs> I seen a clip earlier today. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. Who shot that? Mel Major shot that, right? Mel Major. That, that shit went crazy. And that nigga did that shit in like a day. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He brought that shit back and sent me that shit in a day. Yeah, they hid sure. it from me for a day. Yeah, matter yeah, fact. yeah. Tired. Yeah, Mel Major for that. I, I, been, I been had, it's called, um, it's called Working Though, produced by Texaco. Got them out now on YouTube. Got them, I'm about to drop it everywhere soon. But yeah, the video is out right now. We shot that in Dallas, Texas. Okay. Alright, what's you just and, and that shit that shit down there at like what? Ten K and it only dropped, it only been like three days ago. Damn. Two, damn. three days. Two, three days. That shit going crazy. Yeah. No I'm about promotion to drop, or nothing. I'm about to drop something it? else. Like shit, we just dropped that shit out of the blue. Damn. <laughs> we just dropped that out of the blue, you feel me? Who the biggest person you've been on stage with? Mm. I've never really been on stage with anybody. I, I always opened up. Mm. Like I always opened up um but people that I've like been on stage with, probably like, well, not like a big stage like that anyway, but like Tim Boss Club Phantom, yeah. I was opening up for artists. I, um, but shoot, I opened up at World too, so Roddy Rich was there. Yeah. Um. Roddy Rich. Yeah. That's some big. That's a big name. Yeah, that was a big. That, that was like the big name. name. But really, it was everybody though, because yeah. I opened up for like the baby. Pee Wee Long Way, Money Bag, yeah, Gunner. I done seen um, you a lot of goddamn. Like, shows. you shot my, you shot my damn yeah, Pee Wee video, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shout out to you. <laughs> Wally you, D, man. you feel me? Yeah. You. If you weren't rapping right now, what would you be doing? Trapping. 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 Alright. Oh. <laughs> and I think I heard that somewhere too. Mm -hmm. He said that same. Same, like, like, yeah, <laughs> for sure. I did another interview. Alright, boom. I can't really think of nothing else. But, you know, I mean, like, shit. I be doing something, you feel me? Like, I gotta make it ends meet somewhere, you did, feel did me? You so when I say school? trapping, I mean making money, period. Did you graduate? Did I graduate? Yeah. Nah, I got a um, equivalency diploma. I got kicked out the first day of senior year right. in high school. Wow. I got expelled. Why? Wow. Like, <laughs> I was already having problems before, like the years before. Mm -hmm. Like so I started already knew ninth grade. Knew. Ninth grade, I went in what they call it, night school. Mm -hmm. So I spent the whole ninth grade, night school, tenth, eleventh grade. Mm -hmm. I got it. I got suspended ten days, first day, tenth and eleventh grade. So goddamn. By time, by time, exactly. So by time I got the 
seen you. Mm -hmm. It was already like you got one chance. That shit, you feel me? So first day. So you mm -hmm. knew that first day you was by my little fuck shit at home. Can't nah, 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 nah. It wasn't even on that shit because like we already me and my mama we came and had meetings and everything for them to let us back and goddamn we had a um you know this back when like Chief and them was out so mm -hmm. we had like Almighty game you feel me mm -hmm. so we had a lot of like beef and shit mm -hmm. so goddamn end of the day in the school day goddamn like three four niggas followed me out to school threw my book bag off squatted up with them you feel me I wasn't about to let niggas. Chase me or bitch me, you feel so me? So this didn't happen on school campus. Yeah, campus. hell yeah, we, we followed me oh, like we was in class, like about to oh, fight type shit. And then niggas followed me out to school. Goddamn, when they followed me, took all my shit off. Goddamn, some squad up, surrounded me and shit. Then the the school officer, he came, broke shit up. You feel me? I walked to the car. I got back the next day. Motherfucker said, "Yeah, love it. You're done." I ain't been there. You feel me? So. Then I went to another school in Moorhead City, Atlantic Beach. Yeah. You know where that at? I um I went to school there for like a couple months. That didn't work out, so mm -hmm. I just went ahead and got my equivalency diploma from a place in Georgia, which I end up going to um I end up being able to use that to go to college, and um I got kicked out of college. Well, I didn't get kicked out, but I got locked up in the um apartments I was staying in. But were you all right? So boom, were you a good student though? Meaning like you just. You just was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and but like, was you like making A's and shit? Mm -hmm. Like, I, was, like, I wasn't making A's, but I was passing. You feel yeah. me? Like, and like, I was tight in. Like, I got them. I didn't mind staying after for you feel me? Yeah. Like, I didn't want to be all the way behind because I was like missing school a lot yeah, yeah. from like trying to make other shit go on. So, what about sports? Nah, I never played sports. I played sports in like um, seventh grade, and I used to get but I used to get suspended so much, so it never really yeah. worked out. And I um I got suspended one time. I came back, the motherfucker. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Just let me go ahead and get back in there. I, I got you. You feel me? We good. It's game day. Everything. The motherfucker said, all right, yeah, love it. You good? Run the um perimeter of the school twice after class, and we good. You feel me? I said, all right, bet. The bell rang. I got right on the bus. Said fuck it. Yeah, that was the end of that. Nah, I'm not about to run that damn perimeter of no school. That's out. You ever did time? Mm -mm. I did. I mean, I've been to jail, but I ain't never sat yeah. too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No sat too long. I was buying right out. Like, after I couldn't bind out the first time that I got there and went, I, I, I made it like, I, I cussed myself out. You feel me? It was like, basically like a, why you ain't got no buying money? And you doing all this and that, you feel me? Type, world. you feel me? And after that, it just, I ain't been really down since, you feel me? That was like 2017. So wait, you got a manager, right? Yeah. Who you, who you manager? DJ Top Pat. DJ Top Hat. Shout out DJ Top Hat, bro. Shout out Top Hat. Yeah. You feel me? He been with me for a minute, for real. Like, really. We been working for a long time. Like, he really, like, the first the first person that I actually, like, really tapped in with was the second, beside, behind Derek Jeter. Mm. Behind Derek Jeter. Then Top Hat, I um, got my first record spent. I had went through, went through somebody else. Paid the high mm. to get in contact with him. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it just been love, you feel me? Like the so, name. You gotta find somebody who's passionate in your your craft just as much as you is. Bro. Yeah, exactly. You, gotta, you feel you me? I ain't never I ain't hard. never felt like I ain't never felt like I was been getting over on you feel me or yeah. on no shit. So really like he really like just became my manager not too long ago, a few weeks ago, a few a few months ago. Cause like we we've been rocking with each other so long it's like mm -hmm. it's certain places that I can't reach without him, you feel me? Yeah. And like it's like a why not situation. Yeah. Alright, so boom. A artist a artist that was you Three four years ago, what what kit would you give him right now to succeed? I probably would have gave him every dime I put into myself. <laughs> I swear to God, like I put so much. I I ain't saying like it didn't help or it ain't or, or that I wasted my money, mm -hmm. but I spent the I spent I spent a lot of money opening up for artists. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like they was charging like. 2000 25 to 2500 to open up then you got to pay another 2000 for a booth you feel me i'm coming with like 10 people mm -hmm. sometimes i let motherfuckers put in sometimes i just yeah. give them all the money myself yeah. so if i'm opening up for somebody every other weekend that's m to 8 to 10k a month you got to buy clothes got to buy video camera this and that you feel me God, I'm wearing designer. Yeah, you feel me? That's that's when I really. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah you know, that just that's just that. You feel me? 
So and that don't do it get tiring though, bro? Hell yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like. I had to, it, it come to a point where like, all right, I'm opening up, I'm doing this and that. But the up, the up to that is, I built up a relationship with Tim Boss. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I spent so much money with him, but he showed me love since the day one. Yeah. yeah. Like since day one, got Shout him. out Tim Boss. Shout him out Tim Boss for yeah. sure. Yeah. Like first day I met him, and then we we locking in. I pulled, I, I hit him up. Everybody around me really know who he is, mm -hmm. but I don't really know him. Yeah. But he he brought Dolph down. You feel me? So I hit him up. He was like, Yeah, this and that. Pull up. You feel me? I was like, Shit, bro, I don't want to. I don't want to send my bread. So I'm like, you like pull up. He two hours away. Yeah. I pull up on him. Pull up on him, got them foreign and everything. So he see parents, yeah. everything, you yeah. feel me? Pull up on him. We talking, but my phone going off. Yeah. So I'm like, I got to get back. Like, I see. I, like, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like, so he was like, man, fat shit. Come, come Friday, you come to Raleigh, got them, bring your people. I'm going to let y'all in for free. You feel me? Dope. And I opened up for Dolph Saturday in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. But I came to Raleigh Friday for free. So we got them. That was all perfect. You feel me? And since then, it just been love. Like it went down from like twenty five hundred to fifteen to seven hundred to got them back to fifteen to yeah. sometimes them calling me like I got this opportunity for you I ain't gonna yeah. charge you you feel me just pull up dope shit you bro. feel me or or got them just get a booth yeah or you feel me like yeah. and it, and it, and it grew bigger than it just grew bigger between us you feel me so I can't really say that that money was you feel me but I would I probably wouldn't have opened up for as many artists. And probably would have put that towards a budget towards pr promoting myself more, yeah. because you know, even though I was opening up, I'm coming without I'm coming without shit. You feel me? I'm coming without stickers, got them flyer CDs and shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So sometimes it was like, really, uh, you feel me? Like and then at that point, I wasn't really as serious with rapping, so yeah. my energy not really there. And then yeah. when my energy is there, I'm rapping my heart out, motherfucker just looking at me. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? So like, <laughs> That's the worst. you know. It's crazy, but you know, I would probably just wouldn't have opened up as much. You feel me? But I ain't gonna say that I, I regret spending anything that I have. All right, can you dance? I mean, I do my little give and go. You feel me? Get a bad, take the bad. <laughs> like, you see in that working video, you know, I got the little tilt. You feel me? Like, I don't really do nothing, like, no going crazy. You feel me? I don't jerk or nothing, mm -hmm. shit like that. But it just popped in my head, bro. You didn't even go to prom. Mm -mm. I'm Damn, mad as hell. Bro. I'm mad as hell. Cause back then, I wanted to um, I wanted to go to prom bad. I wanted to flex bad. Well, I swear to God, <laughs> that was that, that was my only regret, bro. That's my only thing that I wanted to do in high school, bro. Go to prom. I swear to God. 